you know, just call me at the house. <laughs> I don't know what I'm calling. I know that's my number. I got that number down in 10 years. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. But yes, but Tim brought me up on these stools, man. You know, Tim was a good dude, dude. <laughs> I want to bring this up a little bit because I really don't want to fall because I'm at the age now. If I fall, I gotta stay there for a minute <laughs> and do like a mental cascade and make sure I get. <laughs> and not like when I was 20, you know, I could fall out of the first floor window and just get up like, God damn, I gotta watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me move this up here. And I'm gonna sit down and talk to y'all like I'm Bill Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Tim, you give me the chair that kind of loose. I hope it don't go. Yeah, yeah I hope it don't. Can everybody see me? Yeah. If I move this, we good? Good. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't take the phone no more. <laughs> I, um, you know, and like a lot of times, like when I fall, you know, well not a lot, but sometimes when I fall, you know, I, I get the people that have been drinking that want to help me up. <laughs> Who never in their life helped a disabled person up. Because <laughs> when I had like two drunk dudes, they grabbed me and pulled me each way to my, they to put your leg down. I, I, said, I, I said, I can't because y'all got me going either way. I said, you know, we still still play. <laughs> <laughs> there are other times where like don't nobody help me when I fall. Like um, this past summer, I fell and it was like in the middle of, of a heat wave. We had in the city, man. It was like about 100 degrees, and I tried to get up every time I put my hand on the ground. Too hot. I was like, oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go crawl off into a corner, man, and um, wait till the sun went down. <laughs> I mean, I had a whole new dude coming over to me, and my little man, you know, this is my spot. <laughs> you know, I, I was hard, I got all this stuff. <laughs> I said, I know, but as soon as the sun go down, man, you know, I'll be, I'll be up, man. <laughs> Shoot, man, I was um, talking about, you know, getting Social Security disability, man. I, I started out, I, I also got like, as a lie as a kid, but I didn't realize this until I was about 10 years old, because I went to a disabled school, and like, it seemed like every other disabled kid I, in the school I went to was allowed to have the SSI check but me. And, and I didn't know why I was getting one. Like, my mom and stepfather, they were just keeping that for themselves. <laughs> so I'm at school one day, and one of my friends got all this new stuff from my new sneaks, man. You know, told my man, look at these, man. I'm like, damn, how you need to look up my check? You know, don't you get one? I'm like, I got a check. He's like, you can get a walk right, right? <laughs> I said, yeah. Now, my mom was the sweetest person in the world, but you know, sometimes when you talk to her about money, whoo, you know, you gotta be very careful. <laughs> Cause I brought home back to school as a mom. I said, I get a um, check for the government on the first. She said, yeah. I said, well, how come I don't never get nothing? She said, cause that money goes to take care of this goddamn bill and take care of you and, and your other brothers and sisters. <laughs> I said, but how I, I don't get nothing? You know, it's like, look, you know, it's five of y'all. And I'm saying to myself, well, really, it would, it would only have been, you know, three, but, you know, you want to, you know, keep. <laughs> but, you know, I said it to myself, man. I actually, it would have been four, but my mom was pregnant with fraternal twins, and, and, like, you know, when she, you know, gave birth to one of my brothers, and, and she, you know, that's how my mom was, because she ain't like spending no money in the hospital. So like, I started, got up, started getting dressed, and they could come back in the room tomorrow. Oh no, Miss Walker, you, you got another child up here. <laughs> 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 and, and, and my mom, my mom, like, look, I better, you know, I better be right. Don't be 
to my goddamn time. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to pay all this money for you know, up in here. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, you know my mom, I miss my mom, man. My mom, you know, she never felt sorry for me, man. My mom would tell me to go to the store and tell me to be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> no way it was a 30 minute walk for everybody. <laughs> My mom would have to go to the store. I don't give a damn how you walk. You gotta go ahead back in 15 minutes. <laughs> and, like, and this was like during the 80s. Um, and one of my mom's favorite things for me to get for was a Pepsi. And this one Pepsi came in a glass bottle, not like the plastic bottle, like today. And my mom was like, you go to the store, you're going to give me a Pepsi. And I, I didn't count it out my last little bit of change. I swear to God, if you trip and fall, <laughs> and you break it, I will hurt your ass. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm in the store, and I, I remember this day like the back of my hand, man. I had the Pepsi and I took it under my arm like a football. <laughs> and I made sure I walked the same route. I always walk. But I didn't see the new crack in the ground. And I had tripped and fell, but I made sure I slid. And I scraped my arm up real bad. And there was blood dripping down. And I got in the house and my mom saw all that blood, you know, drip, you know, you know, dripping down. She said, oh my God. She said, if any of that blood get on my Pepsi. <laughs> Your ass, bad. <laughs> oh man, and um, I remember um, you know, I had like a great, you know, interesting childhood, man. I know everybody in here did, but it's like when I was 12, you know, my stepfather made me get a paper wrap. So I, I didn't see what you know, start learning how, you know, how to earn money, you know, so I can bring some money into the house. And, and I want to say, well, technically, I am bringing money in the house. <laughs> y'all don't want to share none of it. <laughs> so he made me get a paper route. And I walked the same, you know, I had, I had the paper route, and I got paid like $20 every two weeks. Yeah, I know, I look back at it now, so what the hell do I do? <laughs> but, um, and also in my neighborhood, man, we had, a, we had a neighborhood thug, man, a guy by the name of uh, Bernard. And I always said his mama must have knew he wasn't going to be shit like good. Because <laughs> that was his name, Bernard. It wasn't short for nothing, just Bernard. <laughs> you know, I, I guess when he was born, the doctor handed him to him and said, yeah, it's my baby. He ain't going to be you know, nothing. You know, your name is Bernard. <laughs> and Bernard